Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of SimCity. And man, man oh man, have I had a busy day today. Not in this game, I mean like in, in, in actual life. Man, and if you know me, you know that I'm typically a very, very lazy person. And uh, I have uh, been forced, kind of, to be... Alright, well I have forced myself to be not so lazy today and it has almost killed me it has really almost killed me man what is this classrooms full alright but yeah I've been really busy today I went to Ikea with my dad and he bought a desk for me also a chair and a lamp so that's really good because right now I'm basically sitting on a coffee table recording a video which uh, is actually very comfortable, so don't get me wrong about that, but uh, I would like a desk. That would be awesome. But that doesn't really matter for now. Let's just get right back into the episode now. We need to add some... Well, we need to add a clinic, and we also need to add a police station. Now, if, you, if you're looking here, you may be wondering, like, why... Are so many buildings different from the last episode well I, I went afk for a bit which is why i have so much money and in this little spot right now um there is quite a lot what am i talking about right now just had a brain fart there i went afk saved up a lot of money and in the meantime these guys have um been happy enough that they're upgrading their houses and to get a sim to want to upgrade their houses you basically need to make it so that they can get to work easy, get to work very easily, go back, spend their money, and return to their house within a day. And that'll that'll get them really, really happy. So um, I've done that a bunch, and they've, they're uh, all upgrading their houses. Now, apparently, there's not enough room for this guy to increase density, which is weird. Can I upgrade the... I don't know how to make it so that there's more room for this guy. Maybe I would have to delete one of these roads, but I'm not about to do that. So maybe he can just sort of... I, I have no clue. Some Something will happen eventually, I hope. But we need to add a police station and a clinic. Now, this is uh, 400 an hour, and uh, we can afford that. <clears throat> Sorry. So let's put him, I'm not sure if he lowers the land value around him, or around this guy. So let's just put him down right here and see what happens. Uh, where is the land? There it is. Nope, it actually increases the land value around it, I think, which is actually really awesome. So that's good. Now, I don't think one one patrol car is going to do it. We're just going to have another one just to be safe. And we're, uh, our budget's kind of gone down a bit. Do we have enough for... We do. We have enough for a clinic, but just barely. So, let's put this bad boy right here. That seems like a good spot. Or right here. Let's put him right in the middle of everything, right there. There we go. Which is <laughs> much needed because of five deaths per day. Not what I want. Oh wow, this guy's uh, building something big. Wonder what that's going to turn into. Let's, oh, whoa. We just lost a lot of money. Oh, probably because uh, this guy's upgrading, this guy, all these guys are upgrading their houses, which is good. I guess placing this thing must have increased the uh, land value of everything around it. So that's good. I wonder what this guy's going to turn into. Can't wait to see that. So, we've got good things going on here. We have uh, enough trash, I think. It's not in the yellow, so we got that going. Fire department, we don't have that yet. I don't want to put that in because that means... That would bring our money into the green, so, uh, into the 
read even more than it is now. So I want to wait until my budget is a little bit higher for me to do that. Health, we just added that in, so we're doing well on that. Same with police. Hopefully uh, crimes will... Oh, man. I love that sound they make. Ah! Let me get arrested. Uh, education's good. Transportation we don't need yet. And eh, parks can wait. Actually, let's just plant some trees. Where is that? Wait a minute, what was that? What are these? Oh, large field. Oh, that's weird. Uh, let's just go to nature. Let's just plant some trees around our industrial area too. Because if we plant trees, that helps reduce the amount of pollution. I think. I hope. So there's some trees being planted. Let's get that. There we go. Now let's just plant some trees around here. Just to make it look a little snazzier. There we go. Let's just encase this whole thing in trees. There we go. Oh, don't want to do that. There we go. Perfect. There. Now, our budget's gone up, which is good, but it's still not at the point where I want it to be, and my population has dropped drastically. Ooh, that's not that good. What am I going to do about that? Not much, I think. No, uh, the majority of our population is low wealth. And we don't have any high wealth citizens yet. Nor do we have any visitors. So that's a bummer. Hopefully things will pick up in time. But for now, things are looking pretty good. Pretty good indeed, I think. So, let's take a look at this. Now, I kind of, uh, with this, there's another thing that I've planned for the city. One of which is, um, for my power, I want to go 100% green power. I don't want to use uh, coal or, or oil or anything like that. I went a, the coal route in the my previous city, and I don't like that that much. So, when I get a university in this city, I want to uh, research the special wind, wind turbines, those little weird spirally ones, which look pretty cool, and I want to add them in. So... There's that. Also, uh, further uh, further ahead, I want to specialize my city not in you know mining or drilling or or electronics. Although maybe electronics would probably be a a good thing. Probably add in some uh, processor factories later on. But the main thing I want to specialize my city in is gambling and tourism. I haven't played around a lot with those uh, previously. I did put down that Leaning Tower of Pisa in my previous one, but that just lost me loads of money. What do you want? Oh wow, this dude again, no. Anyway, uh, where was I before that? I was so rudely interrupted. Yes, uh, I want to specialize my city with tourism and gambling. Uh, I haven't, yeah, the, the Leaning Tower just lost me loads of money. Uh, so I want to just specialize, I want to build an expo center. That's the, the very first thing that I want to get. And I want to put that maybe somewhere over here. So I can sort of um, get a, when I upgrade my city hall, I can put in the Department of Tourism or, or whatever that is first, and then I can sort of start drawing in all of my, you know, tourists to come see my expo center. And I can add the train station here and the airport to draw in other people. So that might turn out well. Ooh, oh, just a little graphical error there. And, yep, see? Anyway. And I also want to 
later on sort of get into electronics. Now, what do you want? Oh, yeah, fire station. It looks like we almost have enough for a fire station, so let's just get that right now just to avoid hassle in the future. And let's put it sort of in between the industrial land. You, you well, know, you didn't, you didn't hear that. <coughs> and let's just put them in, in between uh, the, no, we gotta decide this quick. Let's just put them in between the residential and the industrial. So let's just put them right, right there. There we go. So there's our fire station, and it looks, I think, maybe, like that may have increased the land value. I hope. Uh, it might have. I don't know. A little bit, maybe. <coughs> Sorry, I've just been coughing a lot lately. My apologies. But, it uh, looks like our industrial building burnt down, so... Just knock him down. Hopefully we should get more residents soon. I hope. What do you want? All the classrooms in Jaltberg are filled to capacity... We need more classrooms and more teachers. I'll do it. I got you. I got you, little schoolyard. Unfortunately, you're $200 an hour. So you're going to have to wait. Also, fire. Oh. We're not able to get all these fires. Buildings are burning down. We need more fire. No, you don't. Get out of here. So our clinic is doing fine. Let's take a look at some data maps. Got some students, workers, people are working. Oh, there's one tourist there. Wow, that's cool. Uh, we got some students, some shoppers. That's good. We need shoppers in our city. Some workers, they are walking. Oh, they're walking to work. That's good. Uh, maybe I'll sort of add a Yeah, that's why I added this thing in the first place. I think I'll add in a Avenue just straight down connecting to this one Can I actually do that now? Maybe straight line shift to keep it straight and it can actually that's good. I Kind of want to just connect that now There we go That's actually exactly what I want to do Another thing I heard about in this game is that you need to avoid as many intersections as you can. Like, as many four-way intersections as you can avoid, avoid them. Because that causes loads of backup in your city. Like, traffic is, like, mad. Traffic forms, like, mad. And, uh, traffic is very bad, if you don't already know. So, maybe, now one way to do it is, or one way to get rid of all the traffic in your city is to avoid, or is to create a T-junction. And I'll sort of just draw out what a T-junction is. Say we have two roads like that and like that. Instead of just connecting them like this, or like, like this, to make uh, four-way intersections, you would then, you would do something like this, I think. No, no, no. I think it would be like this. And then there would be a road like that. I think. Let's just say there's a road here and a road there. And a road in the middle. Instead of connecting all of them like that to make a four-way intersection, you would then make a junction here and another one or and another one right here. Oh, looks like there's some gunfire going on in the background. Yeah, so, so you want to sort of do it like this, I think. I haven't tried it out myself, but it kind of seems like this is sort of what you want to do. I've seen a lot of people doing that. But yeah, that's just for demonstration. So, we're off to a decent... Oh, we're losing a lot of money. What happened? Where'd all our money go? Why is nobody moving in? Do we need to zone more residential? 
It looks like we do. But everything's all nicely balanced out. Oh, that's that's another thing. I think we need more commercial. So let's see. We have uh, nobody. No one is unemployed, which is good. There's no one commuting in from other cities because there are no other cities. Um, there's a couple unfilled jobs. There's 316 unfilled. So we may need to fix that. Or, you know, we could just... There, let's see how that goes. Because it did say we needed more... Oh, this guy's uh, upgrading. Man, I want to get my population up. I f I'm not sure how. This thing needs workers. Okay, maybe we need to expand a little bit. Although I'm kind of hesitant to... Hmm. Man, I think I think I ended up making these little squares too small. I think I did. Hmm. That is quite prob oh, that is quite problematic. Uh damn. Okay, well. Maybe if I sort of expand it a little bit out more. Or let's, let's just go to here. Or here. Maybe? Here? Here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Uh... Let's just go here, as well as, he oh, we don't have enough, okay. Well, uh, I think I may need to close down some buildings, like, because we're losing money very, very quickly. So I might need to close down the fire department for now. There, so now we'll start gaining a lot of, of our money back. So how much do I exactly need to expand this? I need... Oh, I need 4,000 or whatever to build it there. That's not too bad. Our population is still not increasing. Maybe we should throw a park down somewhere to increase the land value. I think that's a pretty decent idea. Let's put down a fountain plaza somewhere. What about right here? What about this one? No. This one. No, that one does not fit. So let's just, ah, well, let's just throw down this one. First, let's there we go. Okay, let's put it right here. Oh boy, that increased our land value by a lot. Which is very good. Oh, and I'm also going to go bankrupt. Which is very bad. But it's slowly going... What the... Why has our population dropped so much? This is... no, they're upgrading, okay. I was worried there for a second. So let's actually zone some more residential here. Because I don't think I'm going to add anything else in this particular area. I actually don't know how long this recording has been going on for. But I'm assuming it's been at least 15 minutes, so I'm going to close it off pretty soon. But... We got a lot done this episode. We got our police station, our fire department, our clinic. We uh, expanded a little bit. We also... Eventually, we'll get to this threshold, or this point, where we can just upgrade it and hopefully start adding in... Okay, well, I need to open this up again. Because there's a fire going on. Looks like, anyway. Uh, so there's a... Wow, that's a... 
That's actually a pretty decent... What is this? Oh, it's like just a grocery store. That looks pretty cool. I, I've never seen a building like that before. That's what I like about this game. Like, everything is different. Pretty much there's... You will not see two of the same building. Often. Sometimes you will, but most of the time you won't. What's going on with the fire department? How many fires are there? There are... How many fires? Just the one. That's not bad. Okay, I don't want to end this episode until my budget goes up. More people move in, please. Why you know move in? Come on. Abandoned building. Oh, it's for sale. Okay. Oh, man, I'm worried. What's going to happen to my little city? Mm. Fire blazes out of control. They're responding. Shut up. My god, my voice is terrible today. I'm very sorry about that. I bet you one of my friends is laughing at me right now. I'm looking at you, somebody. You know who you are. So, it seems like... Still for sale. You know what? I'm gonna take a risk. And goodbye. How's this thing coming along? Hey, what are you doing? This is not the place for random crap to go. There you go. There's a factory being built there. There's another building being built there, which is good. Sooner or later, people will move in, I hope. <sighs> Losing a lot of money. Lots of money slipping through my fingers. This is a very, very slow start. So let's look at populate. No, let's look at our happiness map. So this, these are, no, building density map. There we go. So this, these people are very likely to expand. Not that they can. Yeah, not enough room to increase density. Might just take him out. I don't know. We'll decide that once we get there. This guy is going up, I hope. Everything's going up. Oh, our budget's in the positive. Very, very good. Yep, all these guys are likely to expand, but they're out of room. Let's see what happens if I take this road out right now. What will happen if I just remove this? What about this one? And this one. What do you mean not enough room? You got loads of room now. Come on, you know you want to. There you go. Alright, so that's very good. This seems like as good a point as any to end the episode. We got a lot done this episode, despite some boring parts. If you stuck through it all, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day. And I will see you next time.